Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a reading. Today is the 13th of August. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all that good stuff. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I could come across religious, but I'm not. I'm very spiritual. I do use living language, and I do call out to Jehovah, my Elohim, who is my Yeshua, my salvation. Okay, so if that's not something you're looking for, then this is where we're going to depart. Otherwise, welcome, like I said. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've actually, guys, um, really tried... Uh, I've been feeling a lot of energy, actually, this last week. And I did a bunch of videos yesterday and got rid of them. <laughs> And sometimes that does happen with me, but not often, but it does happen. And here, the last few days really happen quite often, though. And I did two readings this morning and deleted them. Um, so anyway, I just like to tell you guys, I don't have anybody to talk to, so I just talk to you all. <laughs> As if you're just sitting here it doesn't make you all any never mind sometimes the divine just want to show me something um, anyway <laughs> let's just go ahead and get started I will be trying to work on cardinal mutable and fixed sign readings today so if you want those just hit that little um, notification bell on the side there and you will get those otherwise just check back at the channel later and uh, if you don't want to subscribe then just check back if you want to listen to it. Thank you, sweet divine, for clear to find messages. I just give you all the praise, glory, and honor. I thank you for this day. You've made it, and I choose to rejoice in it regardless of what's uh, happening. I just thank you for your peace, your understanding, your guidance, and your strength to get us through our moment. I thank you for forgiveness. I thank you for everything that you load us down with benefits every day and uh, they're beyond this realm and I just want to give you praise glory and honor for it I ask that you would just comfort the hearts that need to be comforted today in uh, whatever they're going through I thank you that you rebuke wickedness from us and we don't have to uh, worry when things come because you are our, our protector what do you want to bring out here, please? You hold up. Let's look at the um, deep past. We will look at what recently just happened. We're going to look at uh, the right now moment. What's in the mind space of that? And then we'll just take one for the outcome. Thank you, sweet divine. We ask for your Holy Spirit to come and lead and guide for wisdom and for knowledge. And to bring whatever needs to come to the lot to the lot we have a daughter we have education and uh, we have soap okay well uh, cleaning up things teaching learning okay we have education school a teacher a student a college okay and we got the word daughter and we also have soap um, so to make something clean or to teach something or something's happened that got dirty or somebody's teaching somebody how to clean something I don't know just take these we'll just take the words for what they are the mind's bringing it out here so there we go all right in the deep past we have you know obviously people were happy and and satisfied and rejoicing was going on and uh, we've got on the other side of this it's dominions a superior a rule, a control energy was taking place and um, there was resources going on that were affected by this. Somebody was taking dominion over something and maybe some people were rejoicing because of it and some people were being controlled, whatever the, the, the situation is. There was some type of an ability um, where resources and influence and a superior or a ruler or controlling energy uh, was either suppressing you or you were the, on the opposite side of that, okay? Or that could have been a boss, that could have been a head of household, that could have been all kinds of stuff. All right, what just recently happened is something, uh, the word is tired. Something's led up to a place where just somebody's just tired, okay? We've got everlasting, perpetual, um, permanent type energy as somebody um, obviously uh, passed away given what I've seen on 
the two readings that I did today, that was really coming out here. Somebody's tired, they're ready to rest, okay? It's been perpetual, ongoing, ongoing. Somebody, you know, obviously something out of some type of rejoicing for one person. Uh, it, it maybe tipped somebody off and um, somebody had some kind of ability to do something to make somebody tired or something like that. Okay, it's just been ongoing, ongoing. Let's see what the divine brings out for the now. Uh, something orange, something connected to orange or clothing or an object is on one side, and we've got Indian energy on the other side. You could be Indian, you could be, um, you know, uh, Indian. Okay, you guys just interpret it the way you want to. Um, we've got something purple at the top of the mind, clothing or an object, or maybe you like these colors. Uh, they play both sides is at the top of the mind Where something connected to orange and purple and Indian energy here um, That's interesting We've got in the near future I'm just looking at today's date is the 13th. We have power to do something the hand is here. That would go. That the word is yod or yod, but the yod letter itself is is also just a hand. It's authority, uh, of you know power. Okay, to do something. But that's a hand of the divine turning something. The pictograph is that hand, and it's also the dalit, the door. Okay, somebody taking their hand, opening the door, uh, turning the knob. Uh, maybe there's some kind of travel energy here, because um, I can find that with this. The door is in and out movement, you know, back and forth. Okay, well, you're obviously we're dealing with people who has got some type of superior or rulership or control or something that's really just tiring somebody down here. Okay, and uh, right here, right now, some now orange. Let's talk about the color orange. Orange represents um, your health. Okay, it can go to um, having a thirst for wealth and youthfulness and happiness and vibrance and stuff like that is what the color orange represents. Now, purple is like a royalty color, okay? And um, somebody's playing both sides, or at least it's in the top of the mind that's known, uh, or somebody's wondering or has found out that, that somebody has been, you know, acting like they're just, you was rejoicing with them, but really they, there was some type of a controlling, influential, influential situation going on here. And what's recently happened is, is just tired somebody out. It's just been ongoing. It's been perpetual. It's just, here it is. Okay. And if somebody's found something out and, um, where there's a connection to Indian, uh, connection for some of you all then then you are uh we're talking about cowboys and because orange and let's talk about that because we got we've got we can find teams that also are can, can be connected to uh, orange and indian stuff and states uh can go back to we got oklahoma here then um i don't know all about you know teams and their colors and stuff but just just for point of reference to get your mind to kind of break free to to, to look at different scenarios of things that could be connected to your uh situation that the divine is bringing out here to reveal something okay we've got though uh the word here though with this pictograph of the door opening and being able to close something that's just been ongoing 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 uh there's power here as well we've got the coast here and uh, the word side, whatever that means for anybody. If you've been on one side or the other, something like that, where they play both sides is on the other side of that card, that purple card. Um, we've got um, a confession here of thanks in the near future here. Somebody raising their hand up and giving some type of thanks or confession or something. Now that could just be to the divine. That could be to somebody who needs to come and say, look, something's taking place and it's just been a, between us and we know that we've gotten a word uh, from the divine to make some things right with some people okay so the divine is showing the hand okay you can, maybe you're shaking somebody's hands and thank you something can, with that confession um, 
again, or you're just raising your hand to give things to the, to the divine or to ask the divine to heal something that's been ongoing, perpetual, and you're tired, you're being controlled, uh, and something's just, uh, you know, your resources are being controlled by some kind of control freak or somebody's done something that they shouldn't have. That's, what's, it's, that, that's what it uh, is bringing out here. So the education, it could be somebody. In my first reading, we had a teacher, we had a singer, uh, we had a sister, what else came out? I don't remember. Um, but we had a lot of uh, transformative energy, death energies, uh, secrets, money, and stuff like that really coming out, okay? And something around death issues and, uh, you know, something was found and somebody was checking somebody out. And on you know, my second reading, we had the FBI come out and all that kind of stuff. That's what I was doing on this channel. We have the school. Uh, this could be a teacher. So this is, it, it's here again. Um, you know, someone maybe you went to school with. Or maybe you are a teacher or a student or maybe you're in college anyway this this or somebody you went to college with we have a truck on the back side of this we also have somebody needing surgery that came out on my first uh, reading we have the belt here a girdle okay strength also to remove or to lose something connected to this reading that Jehovah is bringing out so let's take some cards on it thank you divine Show me this Dominion uh, card here where the rejoicing in the D passed or somebody was acting like that because somebody at the top of the mind has uh, thoughts going on about someone or playing both sides or they know they did and they're going to come and do something or educate somebody about something here today or to you confess something. What is this Dominion? Um, Jehovah. Hold on a second. I know I see one that flipped over. <laughs> there it is. There's this, the full. If somebody started something brand spanking new with somebody, wiped the slate clean, thought they were jumping off of the cliff, and just was like, here, I'm, I'm fresh, I'm new. But there's some type of uh, control energy, or somebody felt like they were superior. This is like genius. So somebody's like, yeah, I'm smarter than you kind of stuff. And somebody took advantage of something here. Okay, and so that's what it's showing here. So in the deep past, there was some kind of innocence energy also attached to some stuff here. I am seeing a dog, and that dog energy really coming out today. I've seen it in the um, homemade deck here as well. All right, so let's see what the tired perpetual energy here that's just been ongoing, ongoing, ongoing with the relationship. Well, if you're dealing with somebody who's a manipulator, okay, and they know what they're doing, okay, okay this is genius energy down here. And they've taken some type of a dominion uh, over somebody, but then they come in and they're acting like that because they're playing both, somebody playing both, somebody on both sides. Okay, it's known in the mind. Uh, there, there's something here with this. Uh, we had the word clarity come out in my first reading. Clarity about lies. It was in the heart space. Uh, the Queen of Cups, okay? We also have, um, it, you know, well, it really just speaks for itself. And somebody's, you know, this is a teacher energy, a nurse, a mother, somebody who would be an authority. Uh, but in the negative, if somebody's playing both sides of something, then they are definitely a manipulator. Okay, and they're doing it knowing that they're doing it. This is clarity. And that's dangerous to play somebody. Okay, and act like you you really love somebody or you're touching them or you're in unity with them or something like that. And that's not that's not good. It's really not good. Because they're, they're, they're a player. There's player energy here. Uh, show me something orange here, please, Divine. I mean, that can be a boss. That can be your sister. That can be a teacher. That's about, again, somebody you went to school with. That was your uh, grandmother, an aunt, a cousin. It could be anybody. It's feminine energy, though, showing itself here. Um, maybe they are Indian. Maybe they're from India. I don't know. Uh, there's some type of connection there. Show me this orange and Indian color energy here, Divine, in the now space. Uh, we have the Six of Swords. This is leaving troubled waters behind. So this is positive. Okay. Um, this travel. 
This is positive. This is something that's like a forcible overthrow of something. This is positive to be able to leave the mind because something has been ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Somebody's just been so feeling like they're superior over somebody and taking their influence and under genius. This is rebellion energy. And somebody's going to play you both sides and do something manipulative to you to try to tire you down. Then something showing the right now moment that you can be able to leave the mind. And it's positive. Something huge is just coming to, this, to the front stage about something then. This is also on a governmental level as well uh, showing up. Show me these something purple and playing both sides, please, Jehovah. And I thank you for these messages. Whoa. There's a lot. Okay, we have the King of Swords, which is cold as ice. This is somebody who's going to make a head over heart decision about something, that, or it's this person. Uh, you know, you can flip flop whatever you need here. Uh, but this person, this is the law itself. This is also a doctor, a lawyer, a, a, a boss, a brother, a cousin, just somebody who is just, if they're in the negative, they're playing both sides. They know what they're doing. That's like really sharp energy I'm genius but this is debauchery then in the negative okay and so or, or somebody's thinking in the top of the head I know that they play both sides and I'm getting a divorce or something like that there's sexual situations here there's um, spiritual things going on there's children conception so then we have the uh, knight of pentacles coming out as well and this is about being reliable Okay, and so we've got uh, the three of wands, and this is somebody who's been manifesting their ideas and, you know, waiting then for their ships to come in and stuff like that, and um, so somebody's playing besides something here. Something's arrived, though, here, and it's known at the top of the mind space. Somebody's learned something about this situation here. Okay, and... Um, Somebody gonna make a head over heart decision. Somebody gonna blow the trumpet on something, okay? And people gonna come awake. Is this is like really knowing something? And somebody obviously knows what they're doing. Again, genius energy. The motto of this house is "I know." And somebody knows what they're doing. And this is the head, the man, the boss, the chief. Okay, we've got we see the word FBI also in my other reading and so we've got law at the top of this thing it's known something sharp here somebody is going to put a, a judgment it's a judgment on something here and there's going to be a thank you for that you know when the truth comes out about something has been hidden I mean obviously it's been hidden to one part or one party or you know whatever this is uh the secret sex, money, and property, and children, and death situation, and the occult, and all kinds of stuff with this energy. Um, show me the hand here. What was on the other side of this? Um, yeah, being bright, being cheerful, or beautiful. Something is positive going to come out of this, especially when you figure out you've been made a fool of a fool. Somebody took somebody for a fool. But somebody isn't a fool at the top of the mind. They sit here knowing that they've made a decision that some type of inspirational aha moment is now finally arrived about this money, about this uh, co-worker, about your boss, about your ex, about whatever this is, about your doctor, about all the rest, whatever that is. There's an education about it or about your school, or your teacher, or your college friend or whatever this is. There's big time knowledge here showing itself. What is this hand in, uh, energy here in this brat? It's positive, really. We had law all over the thing in first reading. And we have law here. The, um, the yod can go back to like the will of fortune energy. And the Dalit is the, I, I believe it's the Emperor energy. Yes, it is the Emperor energy. It's also somebody, for a lot of you, this is in your home. This was your spouse, something like that. They were being quiet as a mouse, but, they, but they're going to get crushed. Yes, this is a, a celebration here. And this card was also in the outcome. This is a victory. Okay, this, this is a thank you because somebody's been blocking some people. 
ruling over them or thinking that they're superior, okay? And um, their resources have been messed with. And this is a bright and cheerful and something beautiful taking place, a celebration if you're getting it into this thing, okay? Yes, this is something beautiful. You Because somebody have been dealing with the narcissist, okay? This is real, this rebellion energy. And somebody's finally going to uh, get a wish fulfillment to something. Yeah, that card also was there. The There's the three of cups. We have a celebration here. There's something beautiful here with this victory. And it is going to be talked about. If we want to look at this um, seven of wands, because it is other people down here, and somebody's fighting, yes, and somebody's been blocking, yes. We see it all over here. At the same time, it's somebody who's standing up and... and uh, teaching a bunch of people here educating something here okay um that's positive because we just seen the sun that sounds like front stage or you're dealing with somebody who is um front stage or known or something like that show me the seven of wands divine jehovah i thank you for these messages what is the seven of wands here saying to us what are you saying through this card that came out? Yeah, there's going to be an ending. There's going to be communication as well. I got another card that flipped over. Okay, got one. I'm gonna, I guess I'll just take all of them. Because they were flipped like this. The communication, having everything that you need. Look, somebody put their hand up. The magician energy has his hand up and uh, communication that also came out my first reading this is a, a, a favorable testimony of something and we have the queen of pentacles which is a mother figure we have a mother figure here or it's a teacher somebody who's real giving or wasn't was stubborn was obviously somebody's playing play both sides okay we got three people here okay somebody at the top of the mind knows it okay they made a decision we got three so the three is there as well okay um, this is a victory or a huge victory there's travel here there's rewards there's wisdom this is the shin in the uh, Hebraic language the 21st letter which is the teeth wisdom about you know teeth represent wisdom and knowledge okay so it is known that somebody got taken for a freaking fool and it's going to be communicated it's going to be a favorable testimony so we're going to put their hand up they're going to have all that they need to do to get something done here and that's positive so the communication is about so what this seven of uh ones is showing us is that this blocking is ending okay okay so that that's positive because there's been nothing but um somebody just taking somebody for a full and it's just been ongoing 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 yeah that's the unbridled ambition card. That's the rebellion card coming out here. Let's take one of these. Where am I at on time? Just travel here. Uh, they worship idols. Well, there you go. Look, this person down here is in rebellion toward uh, Yehovah. Okay, and he's going to make sure he smashes what they're doing. Okay, you, can't, you know, sin is fun for a season. You only got a little season. To make a thing right or to stop what you're doing but this person knew what they were doing absolutely knew it okay and acting like they're all happy to get what they wanted look <laughs> people are crazy okay this is crazy so any you know, fool says in their heart there is no god well there is an elohim and uh his name is jehovah and he and he's he he knows what you're doing um, those of you who this is connected with, you're making something right, you're confessing something, and you really are genuine, uh, and you, whatever this, somebody worships, I, worships idols, I, I mean, I don't know, only the divine is the great deliverer, I don't know your heart, oh, the divine does though, and there is a rejoicing though happening here, something's bright and cheerful, and something's ending, and there's something, there's somebody here uh, with integrity. This goes back to bosses and older people, and somebody who just has wisdom, right? And they're going to communicate something about the manipulation, and the money, and the children, and the lover, and the blocking, and the celebration, and something's, you know, going to be celebrated. And all the gossipy things that have taken place. So, need to retreat. Some people do need to retreat. They're tired. 
the tired, what recently just happened, just like somebody's just like, I'm just tired of this. Okay? If you come to yourself and say, I'm tired, I know what I've done, I've been in this idly worship stuff, and divine really has woke you up, we did see the judgment card, then that's positive. Do what's right. I forgive you is here. We have pink and blue and purple and um, orange showing up here. Okay? In what's coming out in the wording. This is what the divine brought out um, for this reading. We'll just take a room. Okay, got two that came up. We have the sun. Yes, yeah, something is going to be forcibly overthrown. And we have the um, Degas, which is a new cycle, something bright as well. So it's going to confirm itself. Uh, and we know that we're in the day. Okay, so the S in the D, SD, SD, that goes back to technology as well. It also is a celebration. I always bring out a bow tie. It also looks like glasses. And so somebody's seeing something from, from a new point of view because they've been sad. Okay, and then we've got the D and the S. It also go back to days. And this is the Degas, which mean the day. we got something bright. And we also seen the light of the sun. And then we get the sun again. Uh, this is the 16th letter, which would take us to tower energy. It would also take us to a 7, which would be um, contractual things and the law and bouncing out the scales and stuff like that. This positive, the sun's coming out here then. Um, anyway, I'll just leave it at that. It is, it is time. We've got the hourglass. It is time to do something. Okay? Time's up. It's time to confess. It's time to do... The divine's been showing that's for a while now anyway. Um... This is the priest, the high priest, the tie on the ephod. Somebody who does stand up and educate somebody or something or something like that. Somebody would plant both sides of something here. All right, guys, till next time. Shalom.